nitty gritty, right? Right now we're just covering classroom notes, right? What's the age to come? Well, the age to come starts with a thousand year reign and then it blends into eternity. The reason why I say blends, I'll get there in a second. So what do we know? What's the basis of it? Other than Revelation 19, most people... All right, so that's... Um not true. It's in Revelation 20 is what he's talking about. When he's talking about the thousand years, he's talking about Revelation 20, not Revelation 19. Here we got a guy standing in front of a podium in front of a group of people talking about something he has no idea what he's saying. We'll probably say, where else in the Bible does it talk about this time? And the reality is it's all over the Old Testament all over we'll start with a few Isaiah 25 8 he will swallow up death forever and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces all right so no mention at all of a thousand years of nothing Isaiah 65 20 he says never again will there be an infant who lives but a few days not well, even close an old man who does not live out his years the one who dies at a hundred will be thought a mere child and the one who fails to reach a hundred will be considered accursed let's go to Isaiah 11 verse 14 no not even close not even resembling this idea of a thousand year period not even close Nine. <clears throat> right, and, and listen to these words listen to these words as far as the chronology of these words he will strike the earth with his rod of his mouth. Nope. And with the breath of his lips, he will slay the wicked. Nope, not a thousand years. Right? What does that sound like? The day of the Lord. Verse 5. The righteous will be his belt, and faithful the sash around his waist. His waist. That sounds like redemption. Not a thousand and years. And then this happens. The wolf will lie with a lamb. The leopard will lie down with a goat. The calf and the lion will be yearlings together. The little child will lead them. The infant will play near cobra's dens. And the young child will put his hand to a viper's Not in reference to a thousand years. On the holy mountain, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. What's cool about that is that the, the previous verse, Isaiah 65 verse 20, I, I like doing this. I don't know if you guys like, when I read the Bible, you know how... At least the New King James, is, it gives you like little titles. See right there, the New King James. So if you read the New King James, you don't believe in any Bible at all. You don't believe the King James, the you don't believe the New King James Bible. You don't believe it. You don't believe that's the true Word of God. You believe it's a trans, translation from a imaginary Bible that does not exist. So you don't believe in the New King James Bible. You don't believe in any Bible at all. Four sections. And if you don't believe in the Word of God, then you don't believe in Jesus. And if you don't believe in Jesus, how can you have any understanding whatsoever? If you don't believe the Bible that you hold in your hands, you can't expect to have any understanding whatsoever. Well, Isaiah 65, verse 20, the title is called The New Heaven and the New Earth in Isaiah. Even that alone is not in reference to this idea of a thousand years. It almost, it's like in your face. Isaiah 11, what we just read, is called, it's the title is called The Branch of Jesse. This is what the branch of Jesse does. He comes down, he strikes the earth, right? He slays the wicked, and then his righteousness and his faithfulness is around his waist. And then this, this living... I want a pet wolf, and a cheetah, and a lion. There's no mention whatsoever. It's like he's purposely ignoring the concept of a thousand years. It's it, that's what he was. That's the reason why he's pointing to these verses in Isaiah to subst uh, substantiate this idea of a thousand years, and it, he does not point to one verse that even remotely suggests it. Okay, so Psalm 23. The very first verse. The Lord is my shepherd. 
I shall not want. Want and this this living, like I want a pet wolf and a cheetah and a lion and a black mamba. I want a black mamba snake. Like a the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Except this guy, he wants all these creatures, the all these pets, all these exotics, and completely ignores what he's supposed to be teaching. And I could sit here and play the rest of this. He does not talk about this thousand years of Christ because it does not exist. It's not there in Revelation 20 very clearly very plainly it's talking about us reigning with Christ during this thousand years which is right now it's a very unique time period right now I mean imagine this there's no mention in the Bible at all of this time period and then think about the time period that we're living in right now where we have witnessed Christ being born of a virgin and laying down his life for the sins of the whole world and then lifting himself up from the dead and then ascending to heaven with a promise to return. It's a unique time period that we're living in unlike any other time period before the birth of baby Jesus and it will not be like this after his return this is all this is in reference to and we live and reign with Christ right now we have the Spirit of God living in us to whosoever believes on the name of the Lord whosoever believes in Jesus shall never die and after this thousand years is up is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven and we that are born of God are lifted up to meet the Lord in the air and our enemy is gathered at our feet fire comes down from God out of heaven and destroys it all this goes back to Genesis 3 verse 15 I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed and it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel all right and think about this the second death has no power over us that are born of God. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? We will never die. All right? right now, we are a royal priesthood. Right now. They shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him. If we suffer, we reign with him right now. If we are born of the Spirit of God, we are reigning with Christ right now all right and then so this is a unique time period it's not something that happens after Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven after the end of the world when it's the end of the world folks it's the end of the world.